Tom Perriott, I, I keep on saying his name. I hope I'm getting it correct. Perriott, Perriott. Um, he came out earlier in the week with some significant changes or suggestions for changes to stamp, stamp duty in New South Wales. Now, basically, what he has suggested is we're going to go from a 4% stamp duty upfront tax, which is huge, to a much smaller ongoing property tax. Now, they've basically said that a lot of people are concerned thinking that this is a massive tax grab. The government's going after after us. They're, they're making it in a way that then over time they can just extort us from money. And largely, it doesn't look like this is the case because in fact, by their government removing stamp duty, it's basically taking away um, I think it's it's about the current stamp current stamp duty is making about nine point four billion dollars worth of revenue for the New South Wales government. That represents about twenty eight percent of the state revenue or the, the government's state revenue. So what they're saying is by removing it and changing it so that the the stamp duty is waived for the bottom eighty percent of the property market. Um, it's going to cost the state government heaps and they'll need the federal government to step in. Thanks, mate. I appreciate being called Dapper. But by the, the state government removing this tax, it's going to cost them about $2.4 billion. So they need the federal government to step in. Now, they believe that based on the research they've done, that by removing the stamp duty, they're going to give access to 300,000 first home buyers. That's massive. That's needless to say, that's absolutely massive. I, as a property investor, if they were to make these changes, I would anticipate property prices increasing pretty significantly, certainly for the short term. Now, one thing to note that this isn't a, a um, it isn't mandatory. Mm -hmm. What they're suggesting is that it would be a opt in. So that would mean that you could opt to pay the stamp duty, the 4% cost up front, or you could just say, listen, we would rather pay it over time. Now, I just read a 62-page document, which was posted in J uh, July um, 2021, and it's essentially the proposal that they want to bring forward. This isn't finalized by any measure, but it's their research paper saying this is how they're going to implement the tax and how they propose that the um, how it's going to be governed and the way the costs would be implemented. So the way that they want to structure it is the tax would be for the unimproved value of land. Now, land tax is basically assessed at this rate. It's the unimproved value of that land. Now, this is a really interesting way to do the tax because... Currently, stamp duty is paid on market value. So whatever you've bought that property for, um, whatever the market value is and what you've paid at auction or whatever, that is what you pay the 4% on. Whereas the new land tax would be on the unimproved capital value. This is significantly less. This is significantly less than market value. So if you were to just basically remove the house from the land, what would the land be worth at that point in time? There are calculators that you can do this. Now, what this also means is that the tax would then favor apartments. So what you could anticipate that is, is if they moved to this new way of doing it, uh, a land tax, uh, an ongoing land tax, it would be much cheaper for people to go and buy and own and hold apartments. Now, the way that they're suggesting to counteract this is by doing a, um, a fixed fee, a minimum fixed fee, and that minimum fixed fee would be for owner-occupiers, $400 per annum, and for investors, it would be $1,500 per annum. So the other thing that they've, that they've done in that is by making it a, um, a land tax, they're also suggesting that they'll make it cheaper for owner occupiers and more expensive for investors. Whereas stamp duty now is not like that at all. Stamp duty, it doesn't matter whether you're an owner occupier or an investor, you pay the 
and that's for New South Wales. Now, with this new land tax, they're going to put a minimum threshold. It's on the unimproved land value, and it is going to be cheaper for owner-occupiers, more expensive for investors. Now, we don't really know much more than this and until they actually bring it out in the next proposed budget. So for now, that's all we really know. If you want to know more, there is a dense document you can find on the New South Wales government website. Um, but other than that, leave your questions in the comments below. I'll hold on a second. If we don't get many questions, then I'll just um, say goodbye. Kick on with the day. Thank you for your comments. And um, I'll see you at the next next LinkedIn Live. Not LinkedIn. Next, next TikTok Live um, Friday next week at 12 o'clock. Um, no worries. Thank you, Wealthy. I'll catch you all later.